and I thought, oh, this is a nice start to the day. A pound for an unused, with its original tag, Kath Kidston bag. So Nick just came in and he said to me, why have you got coffee in that? And I said, because I'm going to keep it. I said, no, no, I bought that. We're going to resell it. I said, no, I'm afraid I've claimed it. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you? I hope you're doing okay. I've got a very nice haul for you today. If you're a fan of Kath Kidston as I am, you're going to enjoy this video. So we went to a couple of garage sale trails at the weekend and the very first one on the Saturday turned out to be a bit of a Kath Kidston day. I've never found so much Kath Kidston stuff all in one go. Nick's done a vlog of the day and I think I even said at the time, it's a Kath Kidston kind of a day. <laughs> I just kept finding it, which was amazing. So I'm going to share that with you now. The very first stall that we came to, I saw these. It's a pair of high tops with a cat design on. They're a size five and they've had some wear, but they're still in pretty good condition, to be honest with you. I thought this was a scuff, but it's actually part of the design here. There is a bit of a scuff here, so I will give them a clean up before I sell them. But that was my first find of the day. Overall, not just the first Kath Kidston thing. And I thought, oh, this is a nice start to the day. I paid £3.50 for them. And to resell, they're about 15 to 20. So not a bad start at all. I was up and running straight out the gate there. Just so sweet. So yeah, number one pair of shoes. So I can't really remember what order I found everything in. Um, so I'll just show you as I go. So the second thing I'm going to show you is this absolutely gorgeous butter dish, which is in the polka dot design. Beautiful condition. And it's got the old back stamp on it. Now I think I paid about three pounds on this and it should fetch about 20 to 25. Really, really beautiful. The polka dot design is one of the classics and I used to have a mug and I broke it, which is absolutely heartbreaking. <laughs> and um, I've never found one to replace it with since. But I really love the polka dot design. It's really simple and just bright and jolly. And then we got to one stall and I was getting Jeff out of the car. He wanted to sniff everything. So I was lagging behind and there clearly wasn't that much at that stall because by the time I got to it, Nick was already on his way back. And as he passed me, he just casually passed me this mug. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Kath kissed a mug. He said, yeah. So, right. How much is that then? He says, I bought it. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> all right then. So boy did good. And he found a lovely Kath Kidston mug and I currently have my coffee in it. So cheers. I can't remember what he said he paid on it, either 50p or a pound, either way, absolute bargain. Um, and yes, as you can see, I've decided I'm keeping it adding it to my Kath Kidston mug collection. I do generally like to drink out of a bigger mug than that, as you know, if you've been watching me for a while. Um, <laughs> but it's nice to have a few smaller ones for guests who don't like to drink a pint of tea every time. So I now have two smaller mugs in my collection and I'm sure I'll add to it eventually. But if you do find any smaller Kath Kidston mugs like this one and you're thinking of reselling it, then you should get about 10 pounds approximately. So Nick just came in and he said to me, why have you got coffee in that? And I said, because I'm going to keep it. He said, no, no, I bought that. We're going to resell it. I said, no, I'm afraid I've claimed it. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so 
so I um, think I might be winning this one. So on to my best Kath Kidston find of the day. The first thing I spotted was this lovely bag. And I picked it up, did my usual checks. Usually when I find a bag like this, a boot sale or a garage sale trail, firstly, they're not usually in the best of conditions. The, the straps are grubby. If you look inside, it's been well used. This one hasn't. And as you can see, the strap is in beautiful, clean condition. Um, usually it's marked on the oil cloth itself. The outer pocket's in beautiful condition as well. And this one did have one small mark on it, but I thought that wasn't the end of the world. Quite often they kind of sink in and you can't really just wipe it off. But this one thankfully did. So now the bag is in absolute pristine condition excuse the dishwasher in the background that seems to be something i say every video now excuse the dishwasher in the background it's coming to an end now so it's going to start making lots of gurgly noises i will um <laughs> you would think i would learn by now and just not put the dishwasher on when i'm planning to film but i just do it out of habit the other thing is people usually want a lot of money more money than I want to spend on a second-hand Kath Kidston bag and more money than I would be comfortable to spend in order to get a, a good profit out of it. Um, so normally I, I don't hold out a lot of hope when I first pick them up, but I always ask anyway, just in case. And I asked this time around and she said, a pound, a pound. I was like, okay then, yes, yes, a pound. I will buy it for a pound. And then she said, hang on, I've got a couple of other Kath Kidston bits somewhere. Let me see if I can find them. I mean, her stall was piled up with bags and clothes and, and all kinds of stuff. It was quite difficult to see what she had, to be honest. You had to really rummage, but she picked them out and she found them for me. And the first one that she handed me was this. And then I realised it still had its tag attached to it and it has never been used. So she handed me this and I thought, oh, well, she's obviously going to want more for that, which is fine. I would pay a bit more for a brand new bag because I know that that would fetch a bit more. Um, it has its original price in it, which is £40. So... Yeah, £40 brand new. So I asked her, how much do you want for this one? And she said, a pound. A pound for an unused, with its original tag, Kath Kidston bag. I couldn't believe it. The amount of times I've asked people on really grubby looking bags that are gonna need a lot of attention, a lot of cleaning, how much do you want for your Kath Kidston bag? And they've said, oh, 10 pounds, or, you know, the, the least people generally say is five. And I normally leave it behind. A pound. I, I couldn't believe it. And then she said, let me see if, what else I can find. Um, yeah, I was gobsmacked. So I was snaffling that up, definitely. And then she, bought this out, which again has got its original tag. The original price was 28 pounds, and it is a gorgeous unused purse. It's got the section for cards, a lot of card storage there, and notes. And then at the back, it's got the coin purse with two sections inside and again she only wanted a pound so I paid three pounds in total for all of those and I've looked up completed listings for the unused saddle bag should get about 25 to 30 back for that 
for the bag that's been used, although it is in absolute pristine condition, this would be about 10 to 15. And the purse should fetch 12 to 16, something like that, looking at completed listings. So absolutely amazing. Probably my buy of the day. And I'm not even entirely sure if I would ever find any Kath Kidston bags in such good condition again. The lady explained that she was a bit of a Kath Kidston fan and it became known to her family and friends that she liked Kath Kidston. So every Christmas and birthday she would get purses and bags etc and she just had so much that a lot of it she didn't use and they, they just sat in her wardrobe so I suppose for her because they were gifts she didn't place the same value on it as she would have done if, if she'd have bought them for herself. So she was happy to clear them out and pass them on. And for me, as a Kath Kidston fan, I really got a buzz out of finding these and purchasing them and just the idea of knowing that I'm going to find another buyer for them and somebody is going to love them and use them and give them a, give them a home. So this is something a little bit more unusual and something that I've never seen before. And it's this, a set of mechanical scales and the design is Clifton Rose. Never ever seen those before, I didn't know that Kath Kidston had done a set of scales at all. So that was a lovely find and it was only two pounds. It does need a really good clean and I have noticed that there is a tiny little bit of damage on the corner there where the enamel, um, it looks like it's got hot at some point, so something has rested on it. And the enamel's just, just cracked a little bit there, and there's a little bit of a mark. Um, that shouldn't detract too much, I wouldn't have thought. But yeah, it's gonna need a little bit of time spent on it, giving it a good old clean up, and making it shine like a pin again. In terms of resale value for second hand, it looks like it should be able to get 20 to 25. May end up being a little bit less with that little bit of damage. It was just really nice to find and pick up something that was just a little bit out of the ordinary. And there's only one that's currently listed at the moment in this color. So I think it's gonna get snapped up quite quickly, even with that tiny bit of damage there. And you know what, if it isn't, I would not be sad <laughs> because I was in half a mind when I picked it up thinking, oh, should I keep it? <laughs> but I can't keep everything and <laughs> it is rather large and I would want to display it because it's beautiful. And looking around, my kitchen tops are already cluttered enough. So I'll stick to my digital scales for now. Um, but like I say, if it hangs around for a while, Maybe I'll just use it in the meantime. Look after it, as I always say. <laughs> so I might list it and then just, you know, look after it until it sells and then pass it on to someone else. It's the perks of the job, isn't it? So it was just a small haul, but as I say, I thought it would be interesting because I've never picked up so much Kath Kidston in one go before. So I thought I would just tag this on to the end because I never showed you this. It's something that I picked up in a charity shop a few weeks back and I've never added it to a haul or showed you. I, I was going to do an Instagram post and then I, I never got around to it. I just ended up putting it on display in my cabinet. <laughs> um, another thing that I'm going to look after for a little while. Um, but it's so beautiful. I just wanted to enjoy it for a little while before, before I decided if I was going to resell it or not. And it is this. It is a teapot, as you can see, and it came with a sugar bowl and a milk jug. So I bought the set of three in the charity shop and I did pay quite a bit for it. I spent £20. That might seem like madness, but I did look it up at the time when I was in the charity shop and I had seen 
similar sets in different designs, selling for about 70, 70 to 75. So although that did seem to be top end what was achievable, I thought it was well worth spending the 20 pounds and giving it a go. But like I say, I am going to enjoy it for a little while first. I haven't used it yet. It's the kind of thing you only ever use if you have guests over. So yeah, at the moment it has pride of place in my display cabinet. I'm going to enjoy it for a while and then eventually I'll find another home for it. But I thought that you might enjoy seeing it. So I thought I would share that with you. It's so sweet. Little birds on there. Are they robins? I'm not sure, I think they might be. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're little robins. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed that. I'm going to finish my coffee and um, then I'm going to get to photographing it because I've already drafted it all. So if there's anything that you're interested in, then it's going to be listed on eBay very soon. We did manage to buy quite a lot over the weekend. We had garage sale trails on both Saturday and the Sunday and we've currently got a hallway just full of boxes of stock so there's going to be another haul coming very soon but until then take care everyone bye for now